this is so cool it will help to quench that burning sensation yeah it will help to quench that burning sensation you feel hello welcome to joining with judy in today's video i want to show you how to use little antiseptic to get rid of pimples rashes skin infection so if you have dry skin if you have um oily skin i'll be showing you how to use it if you have dry skin and if you have oily skin there are two different ways to use it so if you have oily skin stay tuned if you have dry skin stay tuned For us to use Ditto, we'll make Ditto our facial cleanser. And I advise people to do this at night. It's best, if you want to get the best out of it, do this at night. Okay? Do it at night. You're going to love the result when it's done in the night than the daytime. So the first thing I'll be showing is my container. So this is what I have. If you don't have this, you can use any container of your choice. So the first thing I'll do... Is to take one one cup of my ditto okay and I'll pour it in my container yeah so and the next thing I have there is water so I'll take one cup of water the same cup, the ditto cup, that's what I'm using, the cover, okay? So, that's the cup, or what's it called? So, I'll take an equal proportion and add it to my ditto, okay? So now, so what I have here is 50-50, okay? So, I have 50% of water, and 50% of my ditto antiseptic. So I'm just going to shake it. So the next thing is our cutting wool. Don't mind me. I use cutting wool for so many things. So I just like getting big size of it. So the next thing is my cutting wool. So just take... Oops, this is so hard to cut. Yeah. So, you take your, this is big, just need little. So, so this size of cotibu. So, make sure you gently stir it, okay? You don't need to shake it, just gently stir it. And just the way you use your cleanser, use it to wipe your face. Should I do it on myself? Okay, let me do it. <laughs> you need to wipe your face, okay? You don't need much, just half 50 50, half a little, half water. Okay, you don't want it to be too strong, too harsh. So, use it to wipe gently, wipe your face with it. Don't scrub it, you know, pet this lovely face of yours. So, gently scrub and uh, wipe your face with it. Okay, I know our nose. Especially those that have oily skin, you notice that the oil comes more from the nose. So make sure you give that place uh, attention. Make sure you really clean that place very well. Okay. If you know that you have lots of oil there, and uh, you may need to repeat the same after using the first cutty wool. You may need to clean it again, especially if you, your face is dirty. Okay, do the same to your neck. Do to your neck. Make sure you wipe it very well. Yeah. It's actually born. You feel this like it's killing the germs there. It's killing the germs there. So, like this is dirty. Can you see what came out is dirty? So, repeat the same the second time. After the first one, do the same the second time. And, yeah. Wet it. Don't allow the cotton to be dry. Let it be wet so that you get something moist. 
to clean your face. So this, you can store it, you can keep it and continue using it. See, it finishes, okay? This can last for a few days, depending on how often you do it. But once a day is okay. Once a day is just okay. Once a day is okay. So, and if you have a very sensitive skin, I would advise you to use two cups of water, okay? Two of the ditto, use two of it and one ditto. So if you know your skin, you guess, because this is kind of uh, strong, it's strong and you feel the body sensation. So if you know that you have a very sensitive skin, then you can use two of the ditto to dilute the one cup of ditto. After doing this, So this method is for those with, uh, it's for everyone, it's for everyone. Then the next step I will go to is for those with, um, should I go for oily skin first or dry skin? Okay. Anyone that might, that touches my hand first. So I have my wrestling. So this is for those with dry skin. So the wrestling was the first thing that came to my hand. So if you have a dry skin, listen to this because this is for you. Now, if you have a dry skin, the next step is to take your Vaseline. And honey, 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 honey. Next thing we need is our honey. So you take a little amount of Vaseline that you know that will be enough for your face. Just little, like what I have here. I don't know if you can see it. Just little. So on my palm and just little. Of my honey, just a little of my honey. Like how many drops would I call this? <laughs> just little. I'll show you. Just little, 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 little for it pours. Oopsie. So this is my honey. Mix it together. Mix it together. Okay, and apply it on your face. Mm. So I did this practical uh, for those that have oily face. It means that those that have dry face, <laughs> I want to apply on my face because I already have uh, the one for dry, uh, what's it called? I already have the one for oily face, oily skin on my face already. So apply it, apply it all over your face. Mm, this is so cool. It will help to quench that burning sensation. Yeah, it will help to quench that burning sensation you feel. Ah. You know, honey helps to heal too. Honey also helps to make our face smooth. And wrestling is a good one. So, um, at this point, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click on that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. So this is for those with dry skin. If you know you have a dry skin, after using your ditto to clean your face, the next thing you should do is to do what I just did now. To do what I just did now. So that's just it. And let's move let's let me say the one for oily skin if you have oily skin what you should do is this yeah aloe vera helps a lot for oily skin if you have oily skin and you don't have aloe vera at home the fresh one or this one hmm, you've not started if you suffer from oily skin and you don't have aloe vera plants aloe vera plants at home or the gel the, the store-bought ones the one that is sold in the markets, in the store, in the shop, in shops. If you don't have it, you've not started. You need aloe vera. If you know you have oily skin, aloe vera is something that is very good for oily skin. Mm? So as this detail is helping to kill the bacteria causing these pimples, rashes, skin infection, and so on, we need our aloe vera to seal it up. So what you will do is, you take your aloe vera, just like the horn and just like the Vaseline. You take a little honey. Yeah, just like the one for the dry skin. 
So this is for those with oily skin. So rub it and apply it on your face just the way we did for Vaseline. Okay, so the Vaseline mixture, Vaseline and honey is for those with dry skin while honey and aloe vera is for those with oily skin so that is it on how to use our detail to get rid of pimples rashes skin infection and so on and i hope you find this helpful within three days you should get an excellent result just be consistent with this and preferably at night yes this is best done at night this is best done at night you're going to get a better result when you um, do something like this at night daytime you will you get a good result but to get the best out of this it's best to do it at night and i hope you find this helpful please if you do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you in my next one bye I ended up applying it to my face. <laughs>